Hello everyone and welcome back to Full Stack Devlogs. And today, uh, this video, we are just going to understand how to trigger a Node Red flow from a Angular or from any other front-end application or from just a simple HTML page. So we will go step by step, and the first part will be creating the HTTP endpoint and seeing that how using an URL we can trigger a flow. Let's go ahead. So you all uh, know already that this is the Node Red Full Stack Dev Logs repository that I am maintaining for all the YouTube experiments that I am doing. And each and every session or each and every video that I do, you will find all those progresses uh, progress uh, done here. Now let's begin with the example and begin with the POC that we want to do. So just very simple, let's go to the Node Red uh, website, go to documentation part, let's go to kick cookbook and see HTTP endpoints. Here you will see that how to create an HTTP endpoint, we have an example. So we will see here that we want to create an HTTP endpoint that responds to a GET request. So now this GET request can also be done using a button click, on a button click event. So we will do that in the second part of this video. First of all, we will try to understand how to create this and what benefits we can achieve out of this. So let's see this flow. So here we see this HTTP in node, this is the template node and this is the HTTP response node. Let's try to understand these nodes here. You might be thinking what is this clipping bot? We have already seen the Kafka example. For the clipping bot, I will make a separate video and that's a different topic. We will discuss it later. But this is not yet done and so not yet. There is no video which is uploaded for this. Let's try to understand the HTTP nodes we have. So here we will see if we type HTTP, we have the HTTP in road, we have the HTTP response node, request node and so on. So it's pretty simple, you see this example here and let's click on show flow and we can copy this ready-made flow from here for understanding. Just import this flow. So here we also see that how we can import a flow, import a flow created by someone else. Okay, we see what we have done here. Now let's make it more uh, presentable. We will change the name and we will see a HTTP uh, triggered flow nice name now we will see what are in there so this is a HTTP in node here we are just setting it to get type and we are giving the URL as hello we can give it anything like for example I can give it slash full stack Devlogs. Cool. Yeah. Now let's see this template node, and here we will see that we are having a static HTML here. So instead of hello world, I will say that we have triggered the HTTP. Triggered flow using an HTTP endpoint. Okay, so this will be the kind of exam or message I want to give. I want to show when somebody calls or triggers my flow. So in, in order to understand that, okay, my flow has been triggered just for the sake of this example. And this HTTP response node which responds with an HTTP response message. That's it. Then let's deploy it. Don't forget to deploy it. These are the blue dots which tell you these are not deployed yet. Let's deploy it. Once deployed, it's pretty simple. My node red is already running on localhost 1881. So I can say localhost 1881 slash full stack dev. Uh oh. I'm making some mistake with the okay it's just full stack the URL yes so we have triggered the HTTP to the using HTTP endpoint so what we saw here that we can very easily trigger any node red flow from HTTP endpoint now this HTTP endpoint which has been like accessed using this node red uh, using a Chrome browser 
using any browser we can just access this also from a HTTP triggered event from an event which is triggered by a button click or so on or some other event which is triggered from a UI application right so we will do in the next video this was a very simple and small small video to understand how we can do it and the benefits of it so we can trigger a flow we can trigger a deployment we can create a whole lot of different set of stories and possibilities by just triggering a flow from an angular from a react from a static web application we can do it yes hope you have enjoyed the video please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and keep watching very soon you will get the next part of this where we will create a small angular component which will be calling this this flow which we have just created thank you for your time